But without further ado, as always, let us continue. All right, here we go. Just uh, get a little bit warmed up. Going to D and D on Steam, just so I don't get the uh, notifications, of course. Clearly not very warmed up at the minute with Celeste tonight. I need to uh, remember how I actually hit this bumper. that thing where I jinx myself because I like give myself like a time limit as to how long this is going to take me. Should have learned from when K7 told us uh, back on was it Summit? May have been Summit. B-side. You'll do it in 30 minutes. Oh no, it was the old site C-side, wasn't it? That was right. He said 30 minutes, you'll do it. No problem. And then it took us over two hours in the end. I need to hit the far edge, right hand edge of this. For it to work. How did I do that before? Alright, so I also I just try and have a quick look. See how far we actually got. Four. So we got to this section. Still quite a bit to go. And then once we get there, we gotta do freaking edge boost. The sorry, hyper dash kind of thing. Alright, so I think it's fair to say we're not gonna just do this in five ten minutes. It's um still got quite a way to go with this. But by the end of tonight's stream, at least. I, of course, want it to be done. Too little too late though to um, get across the clouds. Hello, Dr. K. How's it going, my man? Welcome to the stream. How are you this fine Monday evening? A 
¿verdad? Ah, I missed it again. Get off work early. That's always a bonus, my man. Always a bonus. This is the final finals part of Celeste for 100%. It's the final screen and it's a big one. Yeah. The big finale. We got to it on Friday night. And um, I'm not going to do this now because I can't dash off here. I have no dash. Uh, as you can see, we've already been on this set of screens for coming up to two hours. Previous one on Summit, we finally cleared in three and a half that we finished on Friday. <coughs> but this is quite the screen. It's all about the precision. And getting the right amount of boost off this bumper. That was the first we've got so far. I actually hit that crystal, so that was good. To uh, yeah, no, the that I I've every time I got to that point previously, I've messed up getting that first crystal, so I've not actually made it into like the spike area there. So I mean, to be fair, it should be pretty, should be pretty easy going forward from there. Just a matter of having those inputs on like the be absolutely perfect with my directional inputs. That's all it's going to take.
if we can master them, then we should have a problem getting through there. It's the next section after that where we've got kind of like the the weird blocks with the like momentum blocks that I'm not so keen about. But I've got to get there first. That was a little too low there. They get a jump out of the dream block there. Getting a dash now out of that block, which is not particularly great and not at all helpful. A bit like that, really. That's better. Oh, I had the extra height there. The one that I was missing like from the previous attempt. But um just dashed up a little bit too early. Jump gone out of that dream block. There we go. And then I missed the bumper. Dead. Too long. Dummy. Totally missed the switch. Manage that though, because it's got such a big heat box on it. Oh, that's the problem, right? That's what I was talking about before. About I need pixel perfect inputs. Or well, not pixel perfect, but very precise inputs on my D pad. I had the height right there. For some reason, I had an upwards left when I need to go up and right. Work that one out. <laughs> What's going on, Nux? Um, yeah, this is um, the final level. 
of the game to get 100%. And, uh, yeah. These are the seaside levels from the game. There's, like, three different, um, like, kind of difficulty levels for this. Uh, seasides being the hardest levels. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, comes down to pixel perfect inputs at this point. Mother trucker. How you doing, buddy? Anyway, you are still playing, uh, Baba is you? How you getting on with that? good though that was good through the spike section why well, don't think I got a dash there I've used my dashes Too long there. Got away with it. Oh, shit. Still got the minute though, giving it a high it's for a few days. Gone back to a game called Satisfactory. I don't think I've seen it, no. Uh, playing Borderlands and Terraria as well. Pretty drunk to play it. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's on my wish list, uh, the, the Resident Evil 2 remake. I really enjoyed the uh, Resident Evil 1 remaster as well, so. <coughs> to be fair though, I don't actually think I, I, still, I don't think I ever played or finished at least the original Resident Evil 2, so I'd be giving that a go, but I kind of decided I need to take kind of like a break from serious hardcore games after this one because I've been playing too many freaking hardcore games recently, so I think a nice... RPG is on the cards or something next. Into the original. I always remember when we was. Um, I always remember when we was at uh, school. Um, I think uh, sure it was it was Tyler when Resident Three uh, came out because he had a, a chipped PlayStation One, and I always remember him saying that um, he had Resident Evil Three and he could never finish it because the game didn't fit on his. <laughs> the guy who did his game didn't fit on his like copy disc, which I thought was quite funny at the time. Memories from school, eh? But yeah, um, Resident Evil... I think Resident Evil 1 and... Resident Evil 4... Oh shit, are about the only ones that... Um, I finished. I, I've not played... I didn't play 5 or 6, and I've only played the demo of... Uh, the new one, Resident Evil 7. And yes, Dr. K, you've got to hug that lava. Definitely. 
Uh, I've got Super Meat Boy. Uh, I haven't finished it. Um, I am planning on going back to it at some point to try and finish it. Um, I have got quite a few of these sort of platforming games. But like I say, um, like I said just a moment ago, um, I'm pretty much playing this, although I've played a couple of short games in between. This is on the back of like a really another another hardcore platformer called um, Black Hole, and I just think I need to take a bit of a hiatus from the genre. Although I am going to keep this pretty active because I'm going to probably nowhere near competitive, but I'm going to start speedrunning this in the any percent category. So watch this space. I ain't gonna speed run nothing. World record for this game is the only percent run is twenty seven minutes, I think. Um, so far, my only attempt at a complete run in one sitting was uh, I think just over the two hour mark, like right, two hours and one minute or something. So I got massive room for improvement. I never played Geometry Dash. Uh, and any, any runs I do on this, Dr. K, will be um, full sitting runs. Oh, Dash too early. I was going to do Port. I was going to try and learn Portal 2 a bit better, but. I kind of got a bit bummed out by that, so I don't think my Portal 2 run's going to go anywhere. speed off the first bumper. Still alive. I thought I like, was way too slow there. But I ain't gonna complain, that's for sure. <sighs> that's too early. Alright, Noki, thanks for stopping by. Good to see you, Brian. Take care. early again. God damn it.
Wow. I hit the lava. I wasn't expecting that. You know what, I'm going to do what we did on Friday night. Um, let's get rid of the music here. And let's put on the normal A-side OST. Get a beer is not the right thing to do. We did this the other day because after you know, a few hours of listening to the same song over and over again on repeat, it becomes a bit there. As much as I love the soundtrack and all the songs in this game. So you've got to go pretty quickly there. So I think if just generally if I'm too early, it's not going to work because I run out of stamina if I don't go. Now I'm having trouble with the springs. It's not good. Whoa! How did the ice not kill me. Well. I 
Oh, and I messed it up. So close. I got nothing off that, uh, nothing off that block at all. I just left it far too early. How do I get more momentum on that block? I absolutely hate those bouncy blocks though, to be fair. That's evil. That was the last bit. And it's going to make me do a freaking hyper dash, which is only just taught me how to do on the first screen of this level. Oh. 
I said the hitbox on them switches are like quite big. A lot of the time, I'm hitting them. I don't feel like I'm actually anywhere near the switches when I'm hitting them to like change over. I gotta hit that switch on my first dash or else it's over. Definitely. do with more time on that but I don't think I can delay the lava anymore unless I get there quick just generally quicker I don't think that's going to be possible If I try and rush through to like do that, then I end up pushing left, and that puts me into the spikes. I need to kind of keep everything as sort of like neutral as I can through that section to remain the positioning that I need. Kind of did that at the first time of asking. <laughs> Dr. Keklon with the brand new Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, my man. I appreciate it. Welcome along and enjoy that new knock emote. <laughs> Thank you very much, my man. Uh, but there we go, guys. That is it. That is it. 55 hours, 15 minutes, 54 seconds. Celeste is completed to 100%. 19 2 k deaths. Um, 176 strawberries in total. But... Um, Yeah, we're done. 
We are done. All right, well, I tell you what, since we're done so early, uh, I'm going to end the video here on YouTube. Thank you very much for watching. I um, uh, hope you've enjoyed the playthrough of Celeste. Like I said, we're going to be speedrunning, so uh, there may be more Celeste videos on the channel. Thank you for everybody that stopped by. Thank you for everybody that's commented on the videos. I really appreciate the support. Thank you very much. And until the next one, I've been Nock, you've been awesome. See ya.